What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Ratchet and Clank. Future, a crack in time. Now, Asmus just told us that if we change something in the past, it will change the great the future. And we are heading off to our next planet, which apparently... Okay, looks like we got a bigger shield now. Any who's those? I oh oh, we got a little news update. More strange news from Sargasso. The snow-dazzling swamp weasel, long thought to be extinct, has resurfaced in astounding numbers at Alpha Zulu. That's right, Pepper. Kurtu, working the gel plants in that sector, got the scare of their lives this morning when they arrived. I just want to hear to this. Dozens of weasels chewing through their stockpile. No word yet on how this will impact gel prices. When we return, the deadly flesh-eating disease you could be contracting right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. If memory serves, we have to pull out Hey, the... friends! Matt McElroy here. Let me ask you a question. Uh, Do you boom. hate comedy? Is that even possible? Because here I am, offering it for free! And, uh... <laughs> Folks, you know how much it costs to rent a premium venue like the Moonlight Lounge? It costs Okay, we lot. got one we hollow. So, when... Okay, so... My senses are detecting an unknown anomaly, similar to the one that hit us near Quantos. <clears throat> Don't worry, you're sitting this one out. Okay, so... Alright, Clank. So where is this time portal? As I was gonna start, I had this idea for an animation. I wanted to make it Source Filmmaker, but the thing is, there are a few characters that some people have not made. Like some people that have not made Ribbit, but or Alice and Angela Angela Quoff and what I'm gonna suggest is this so I instead of making the animation I'm just gonna sh tell you what my animation idea is uh, because I'm gonna just have to make the characters myself in Anime Studios. So that's gonna take me a while. So here's the idea I have. Maybe somebody will make the models for me in the meantime or something. I don't know. I'm hoping for that. Anyway, here's the story goes. You can consider it canon to the video game coming out for Ratchet and Clank with the port or not. It is totally up to the individual. So here is how the story will play out. Ratchet and Clank are at the uh, party for him saving it, but in this case, Nefarious does not show up. And Ratchet uses the Dimensionator to finally beat his people, but, it's, but it opens up a parallel universe. A universe where Ratchet's parents are still very much alive. But, but this also means that Ratchet meets up with his alternative version Broly of himself. The ultimate problem solver. Okay, I'm gonna let this intro play out because I'm gonna power by this thing. Then I'll tell you the rest when we get back. The Cryomine Club is the perfect marriage of Grummelnet technology and Lombax ingenuity. If enemies get the drop on you, simply toss a few out onto the battlefield. The mines will home in on any foe unlucky enough to wander within range and... Brrr, now that's cold! The Cryomine Glove. Available only at Grubblenet. 
So, Ratchet is meet up with an alternate version of himself. And, okay, right, if I go there, it's gonna trigger nothing. An alternate version of himself, so he gets to see his himself, his father, and his mother. And here's the thing. We never got to meet Ratchet's mother. We don't even know what she looks like. In fact, I don't even think there's any concept art of Ratchet's mother. So, basically, that would leave everybody to wonder what does Ratchet's mother looks like. I mean, we've seen from here, we've seen what Ratchet's father looks like in the pocket watch. But we don't know what his mother looks like. So, to any 3D modelers, that gives you 3D frame to realize who is it. And of course, then Ratchet explains his adventures and stuff. And of course, his family sees it and they consider making him an honorary member of his family. But also, here's the thing. We get to find out what Rash's real name is. Of course, I would still call him Rash, but he would learn what his real name is. And I think that would be a nice story, Ark. I mean, sure, it would not be canon, but I think it would be nice to give Ratchet a little bit of closure like that. And with parallel universes, hey, that could happen. So, with that said, let's just get into the gameplay now. I just wanted to uh, clarify that for you. So, if somebody would make some 3D models of them, I would really appreciate it. He tricked us into helping him build this outpost, and before we knew it, his troops were herding us into detainment camps. They're controlled by that guard tower up there. Please help us. Well, that serves you right. Never listen Attention, to Attention, Nefarious. Fungoid guests. Dr. Nefarious would like to thank you for all your hard work. You're all valuable members of his outfit, and he hopes to execute as few of you as possible when his maniacal plan comes to fruition. Okay. There we go, another upgrade for our gun. Okay, I think I just took care of all the enemies. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. There we go, Jack Blaster. Oh. So much for the to the rescue. Okay, ah, I froze him. Wow. There. Okay, I need some help, and hopefully, when I go to the oh, weapons vendor, they replenish my health, but I don't think they do that in this game. At least, as far as I know. No, they do not. No, nope. you think I would have known that by now, but nope. They didn't match it future to the destruction, but they did not use it here. Why? You scared me. 
I thought you were one of the troops. They've been searching no, I'm for not. me ever since I escaped the detainment camp. I need Don't to get worry, back to my hut you're before safe now. In. Can you help me get through the ivy? The ivy? There, got it. Yeah, another zony down. Bam, baby. Okay. Uh, I keep forgetting which button this is. And boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I gotta play this carefully. Okay, let's try using that. Okay. Uh, this, that's not the weapon I want. I want this one. <laughs> oh, that worked out beautifully. What the? How are those two things alive? Trying a sneak attack on me, huh? How did that work out for ya? Too bad those things are impervious to any weapon. Okay. Uh, oh. I keep forgetting which weapon to use. Okay, I just put that all down there so I can actually use this with safety. Oh my goodness, they are... Ah, uh, okay, for some reason... There. That should take care of them. They should come right... Yep, look at all those little glowing eyes coming to... Oh my goodness, there's some more still over there. Not bad, not wow. and I'm bad. The soaker. Thanks, Al. Come on, we'd better get moving before they find us. This was all farmland just a couple of years ago. I used to plant gardens all around the world, but I stopped when the ferries crashed here. Now, can't remember why, exactly. Really? Can't remember. Okay, ow. Well, that did not work out the way I planned. Okay. Can I just... Boom. They come in peace, but you'll soon be leaving in pieces. <laughs> yeah. Grab all those lovely bows. Kaboom, man. <laughs> yeah, your rockets are no match for my rockets. This thing takes them out in like one shot. Okay. If memory serves, that is a piece of the whole. Hollow plans around here. Got it. If I can recall, there's a piece of the hollow plans around here. I think around this area. Yep, there it is. Okay, good. Made it. I was a little concerned that I wouldn't be. I, I never talked to you. The fourth. Far too dangerous, you see. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You bring back the rest of these plans and I'll build it for you. So long as I get to keep the plans, of course. 
Of course. Just like last time. Okay, wait, those things are back? Oh my goodness, I actually managed to avoid it this time. go over there? It looks like I could just do the same thing. Oh my goodness, I actually can. At least, it looks like I can. So maybe there's like a... There's a gold boat over here. There's a freaking gold boat. I thought it was just in the... I thought you probably wouldn't be able to get over here, but they actually gave you a little incentive to actually come over here. So that's good. Alright, and down I go. Over to here. And boing. And touchdown. And I just need to head over here now. And hoppity hop hop. And I'm pretty much good. So Nefarious built this place. And he just decided to leave. <laughs> Look at that, that was just too easy. I managed to take them all out with one shot each. Oh man, this rocket launcher is amazing. Freaking amazing. Whoa, ow! Two. Three. Okay, that thing took three shots. Anything around here? Uh, no, I guess I just have to interact with this. Just will shut down the gate. Primary containment generator disabled. Hey! We're free! Praise Orbis! We're saved! Yeah. It looks like they're celebrating that portal. That must be the time portal Clank was talking about. No! Think? No, it's probably just a coincidence. So, are you guys gonna talk to me? Seriously? You're not gonna say anything. Really? I didn't even walk through that. Is not a disappointment, as his mother once suggested. Okay, you guys can stop and read that. But I think it's safe to say this is the uh, meteorite that we heard that he crashed here in. Uh, those. Is not evil. Oh, propaganda. Trying to convince these hongoids. Oh, wait a minute, I don't think that's their name. Hey! Are you here to help build Dr. Nefarious's outpost? Eh, we were about to build the bridge, but the winch crank rusted up. I need to get inside. What can I do to help? Nothing we can do. Not for a while. <laughs> we'll just have to wait for them to finish building the oil derrick so we can fix it. Oh, really? I think I can help you with that. Have you seen... We're not supposed things? to talk about it, but he's inside right now. Can you imagine what those two have to chat about? <laughs> Dr. Nefarious is brilliant. That's not good. Why? Why? Because... Because a day without Dr. Nefarious is a day without sunshine. <laughs> Um, okay. 
Apparently these guys are brainwashed. All right, Today he's going to talk to me now. Right? What can I do Why for does you he have a sonic girl? ring? I was planting some vines when suddenly I felt the urge to stop and help our visitor build his new home. Have you met Dr. Nefarious yet? <laughs> He's great and wonderful. <laughs> uh, okay. What are you doing here? I'm interested in planting some vines. Glad to help. I know more about horticulture than any fungoid on Xenophar. First, you need to scoop up a seed. Then, find a nice patch of soil. Then you just plant it, nice and deep. In a few years, you'll have a nice, healthy vine. Now, there are two more planters around here, if you want to give it a try. Thank you. I think I will, but I guess I'll check out what I else you have to say. He's in the outpost right now, talking to Dr. Nefarious. You can't see him, though. The winch crank rusted up in last night's thunderstorm, so we can't lower the bridge. Ah, fix that. They're on the other side of the bridge. I would have planted the seeds myself, but there's a burrow of xiphoids back there. <laughs> oh, no worries. I'll take care of them. I'll first take care of the little generator with my handy dandy sniper rifle. Wow, oh, really? Takes two hits. Can I take care? Apparently, I cannot take care of the next one. There we go. One down. Okay, I'm gonna go to this baby. Because. Kaboom! Maybe kaboom! Boom! Boom! Haha! <laughs> there! Hm. That took care of those guys. They won't be harming anyone else. And... Time for the last one. That should trigger a cutscene. Uh, I thought it would. I guess not. Now I just have to head back to the portal. And these vines would have... A day without Dr. Nefarious is like a day without Dr. Nefarious. It sounds like they're getting brainwashed. Thank Dr. Nefarious is great. Dr. Nefarious is brilliant. It sounds like they're getting brainwashed into believing he is so great. You enjoy Boom! <laughs> All right, I'm out of ammunition for that. All right, level four. Can I? Ow! Yeah, I'll free your friends for the right price. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not something Gachi would do. Okay, got fool. being held on the oil, Derek. He's kind of a jerk, but we should probably still save him. He's a bit yeah. of a jerk? Okay, well, 
If he's a jerk, then why should I save him at all? And uh, He's a family. Uh, and you always help out family, no matter what. Even if they are jerks. And it looks like I made it without getting hit once. Okay. Boom! 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 Bang! Yes, disabled. Okay, right. And grab some oil. And grab the rocket the launcher crank again. Is rusted. We need to find something to loosen it with. Oh, don't worry. I think I got something that you need. Oh yeah. I got the oil I need. Oh yeah, I got the oil I need. Oh, and I got... That's yep, it is. You're very welcome. Thanks you. Thanks to the path you. Let's go. I can't wait to see my wife. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Thanks for all Basically your help, saying she's well, cheating on him. Free, we can shut down the outpost and restore the village. See you later, stranger. I'll come back anytime. Mm. Okay, then, you know, I just realized something. You know, they... Since we don't know anything what Rash's mother looks like, so we can simply say that a Lombax genetics are more dominant. So Rash could be like half, I don't know, um, half human? I mean, we don't know much about the Lombax genetics. Uh, sure. That's why I'm here. And time to lower the bridge and rescue Urbis. That was super easy. Do me a favor. If you see Dr. Nefarious in sight, tell him I helped you out, will ya? Praise Nefarious! Technically, he did help me out in a small way. Oh wow, well, look at that. This baby is a beast. No mods. Welcome to the crown and weapon. If I didn't notice that I say this is the Rhino's distant cousin. I mean granted it's not the Rhino, but it's close enough in my opinion. Congratulations! Oh. Judicator? For three times the mayhem. Oh. All right. It sounds like a bunch of them just respond in. So let's reload. This baby is already fooled up. But I want to make sure it stays fooled up. You know, I just realized that looks like a cyclops, don't you? The uh, the door kind of looks like a head. Annihilate. Annihilate. Annihilate yourself. Any more gonna show up? Any more want some piece of me? Huh? Anyone? No? 
good because I'm not done. Oh wait, uh, I should have rephrased that. Okay, we got a cutscene playing, so I'm gonna be quiet. He must have erased his own memory! Time is a gift, and not to be tampered with. This is your last chance, Orvis. How do I get into the chamber? You are making a mistake. The clock is not a time machine. There is only one who will enter my chamber, and he is safe. Far from you. Where is he? Where did he go? I don't know, sir. I'm pulling up a residual image from his database. We scanned it before he dissipated. Clank? Yo! <laughs> that was a blast. <laughs> and then I said it. Not so smart now, are you? You get it? Because he's a moron! Oh, <laughs> Dr. Nefarious. You have such a wonderful sense of humor. And you're so, so... <laughs> I guess you could say I left my mark. <laughs> okay. I always like to head into the ship just to make sure I got enough zoning to upgrade my ship. So, you know I got the piece of the hollow plan. And apparently there's an invisible wall there. So I can't go underneath the leg. Look at it. Look at the amount of clearance there. And yet I cannot go underneath it. Why? Why? Hopefully in the new game, they don't have like an invisible wall like this. Like if you see an area where you can clearly go underneath it, you can actually can. And you're not blocked it by a stupid invisible wall. Anyway. Let's just head into the ship and see if we got enough for another upgrade. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this gameplay and want to see more of it, why not hit that subscribe button? Don't forget to drop the like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are available. Until the next video, this is Ez, signing off.